Doc McStuffins, a good case of the hiccups. Doc McStuffins and her best friend, Emmy, were playing in Doc's bedroom. Thanks to Emmy's karaoke microphone toy, the superstar tastic sisters were ready to put on their best performance ever. Stuffy and Lammy watched, stuffed from Doc's bed. Millie, the microphone, amplified every note the girl sang. Sing it! Sing it, sing it, Millie sang, echoing the girls. Emmy looked down at her toy. There's something weird about the music, she said. Doc pushed Millie's rewind button so they could start the song over. Emmy introduced her friend. Put your hands, or paws and claws, together for the fabulous Doc McStuffins. Doc pressed the play button and listened. No, 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 Millie said. Emmy was confused. I sing with my Millie mic every day, and this has never happened before. Doc wasn't worried, though. The superstar tastic sisters are just going to have to find a way for the show to go on, she told Emmy. I'll just slip out of my rock star shoes and get back to what I do best. Being a doctor to stuffed animals and toys, Emmy and Doc said together. Just then, Doc's mom knocked on the door. It was time for Emmy to leave for her piano lesson, but she promised to come right back. It was perfect timing. Doc could give Millie a checkup while Emmy was gone. The superstar-tastic sisters will sing again, Doc said confidently, just as soon as I figure out what's wrong with Millie. Doc put Millie on her bed and opened her doctor's bag. Then she put on her stethoscope and brought all the toys to life. Lammy was so excited to see Millie sitting next to her. Ooh, a microphone, she exclaimed. I always wanted to be a singer. Millie smiled. She could make Lammy's dream come true. Well, little lady, give it a try. Try, try, Millie said. Huh? That's weird, weird, weird. Doc nodded. Something was definitely wrong with Millie the microphone. Millie? Your microphone is working, but something else in you is broken, Doc said gently. You kept repeating when Emmy and I were singing with you. Millie was shocked. Oh, dear, 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 she cried. And I broke, broke, broke during a performance? That's bad, 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 Doc. Can you help me? Help me? Help me? Of course Doc McStuffins could help a broken toy. She was the best toy doctor in the whole wide world. Doc took her new patient to the clinic and brought her into the checkup room. Then she asked Millie to say ah, which Millie did three times. I have a diagnosis. Doc announced. She has a case of repeat-itis. It's kind of what I sound like when I have the hiccups. They sound like this. Hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. Doc's dad had taught her all kinds of ways to try to stop the hiccups. One way was to have someone scare you. Stuffy wanted to try to frighten Millie's repeat-itis away. So he snuck up behind her and let out a loud roar. Stuffy's roar scared Chili, but not Millie. That was loud, 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 Millie repeated matter-of-factly. Doc knew it was time to try something else. When Dad has the hiccups, he says pineapple as fast as he can as many times as he can, while he hops in a circle.
she said. The toys all wanted to try it. So everyone jumped around the clinic, chanting, pineapple, 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 pineapple. But that didn't work either. Even a tickle fight didn't cure Millie's repeat-itis. Millie was really upset. Emmy would be back soon for the Superstar Tastic Sisters performance. And I won't be ready. Be ready. Be ready, she repeated sadly. Doc wondered if she had missed something. Hallie, can you hand me my magnifying glass? She asked. Stuffy was eager to help, too. I'll get it, he shouted. But when Stuffy went to get the magnifying glass, he tripped over Millie and accidentally hit her eject button. That was when Doc noticed something. Stuffy, you've done it, Doc cried. I didn't know that Millie had a CD inside of her. Doc carefully removed the CD and used her magnifying glass to examine it closely. Lammy turned to Millie. I know that look, Lammy said. She's got it, Doc smiled. I do. The problem must be with Millie's CD. It didn't take long for Doc to figure out why Millie had repeat-itis. Because her CD is dirty, Doc announced. Doc used a cloth to gently wipe the smudges away. Then she walked over to Millie and put the CD back in place. There you go, clean as can be. I really hope this works, Millie said. I just want to get back to my music. When Doc noticed that Millie was able to speak without any repeats, she knew she had found the right treatment. I think it worked already, Doc said with a smile. Thanks for helping me get rid of my repeat-itis, Millie exclaimed. But just as Doc was about to sing a solo, the toys had to go stuffed. Emmy was back. Your mom's ready to see the super star-tastic sister's big number, Emmy said, walking into the clinic. Are we ready? Emmy asked Doc. They sure were. Doc McStuffins, Bubble Trouble. Doc likes to play with her best friend Emmy and her little sister Alma. One of their favorite toys is a bubble monkey bubble blower. Emmy puts bubble monkey on the picnic table and flips her switch. Three, two, one. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Alma pops three bubbles and Emmy pops six. Doc pops two bubbles at once. Emmy's dog, Rudy, wants to pop bubbles too. But Bubble Monkey isn't working anymore. She's all out of bubbles. Alma fills up Bubble Monkey while Doc and Emmy chase after Rudy. When she's done, she asks, Is everyone ready? They are. Three, two, one. But no bubbles. Where are the bubbles? asks Alma. I'll take a look and see if I can figure out what's wrong, says Doc. Doc takes Bubble Monkey to her clinic and brings her to life with her magic stethoscope. Hey, look, Stuffy says. Doc brought Bubble Monkey over to play. Sorry, Stuffy, but Bubble Monkey is here for a checkup, says Doc. 
first, Doc runs some tests. She takes a feather from her bag and asks Bubble Monkey to blow it. Bubble Monkey blows, but the feather barely moves. Let the dragon try it, says Stuffy. Stuffy blows the feather right out of Doc's hand. It lands on Chili's face. Achoo! Chili sneezes. Next, Doc listens to Bubble Monkey's chest. Sounds like goop is blocking your bubble pumper, she says. Are you having any other symptoms? What are symptoms? asks Bubble Monkey. Doc explains that symptoms are things that hurt. It's your body's way of telling you that something is wrong. Well, I have a tummy ache, Bubble Monkey says. Can I give your tummy a little squeeze? Doc asks. She presses Bubble Monkey's stomach. Something shoots out and hits Stuffy in the chest. Ick, says Stuffy. Now Stuffy and Chili are stuck together. Weird, says Doc as she pulls them apart. This is paste. Doc heads back to Emmy's yard to investigate. Alma, what did you put in Bubble Monkey, she asks. Alma holds up the pink jar. I used this, she says. Alma, the pink one is paste, Emmy says. The green one is the bubble soap. Doc rushes back to the clinic. I have a diagnosis, she tells Bubble Monkey. You have a bad case of gunk inside -itude. Toys need to get filled right, just like people need to eat right, says Doc. Then Doc cleans out Bubble Monkey's tubes and fills her up with bubble soap. Thanks, Doc. I feel better, says Bubble Monkey. You're super fantastic. I love my job, says Doc. Now let's get you back to Emmy and Alma. I'm back, Doc says, and this time I brought Bubble Monkey. Did you fix her? Alma asks. There's only one way to find out, says Doc. Three, two, one. Bubbles!